The color scheme you choose for a map depends a lot on the base map that you choose. Hi, I'm Heather and I'm a cartographer. In this video, I'll show you some examples of light and dark color schemes in map design. I'll show examples in both ArcGIS Online's Map Viewer and ArcGIS Pro. I'll start in ArcGIS Online. This map shows population density. Should I map it like this or like this? Personally, I think this one looks cooler. I love the way the dark purple emphasizes the coastline, but it gives the wrong impression. Typically on a map, people will interpret dark colors to mean more and light colors to mean less. If you drew this map by hand, for example, you'd be adding more shading to those dark areas. So people subconsciously make an assumption that dark equals more, whether you want them to or not. Sure, there's a legend, but assume that everyone will ignore it people generally see what they expect to see, regardless of any legend. So I'll reverse this color scheme. Now it's clear that these areas are more populated than these ones. Okay, that's great. But later, I decided to change to a dark base map, and this kind of changes the equation. Dark equals more works great on a light base map because the dark things have a strong contrast with that light background. But when the background is dark, the light things have the better contrast instead. So typically, if you have a dark base map, you flip the convention and you flip the color scheme. So light equals more and dark equals less. However, this map still doesn't look quite right. I'm still getting the impression that there's more pigment in these dark areas. And I think it's because this purple has a fairly strong contrast with the background still. Probably I should switch back to the light base map. But if I'm really determined to use the dark one, I can choose a different color scheme. And in here, I can actually search for color schemes that are best for dark backgrounds. And look at that. The urban areas really pop off the map now, and they do appear more populated. Let's switch to ArcGIS Pro. This map shows the density of street lights per census dissemination area. As we've already learned, Dark equals more, so it makes sense that the areas with more street lights per square kilometer are darker. But does it make sense? Shouldn't areas with more lights appear more light? More illuminated? Yeah, they probably should. This is a case where the cartographic convention of dark equals more doesn't work. So I will flip the color scheme. I can choose either reverse color scheme or reverse values, they'll have the same effect. And uh, now, great, the downtown areas appear very illuminated and the rural areas appear very dark. But I have a different problem. The rural areas really contrast with the background and the urban areas kind of blend in with it. I'm still seeing that overall geographic pattern, but the map isn't emphasizing the areas that I want to be emphasized. The best way to fix this is to change to a dark base map. Streetlights only really matter at nighttime anyway, so it's appropriate to use a nighttime base map. And actually, this is an important thing to remember in so many maps. You might be struggling to find the right colors in the symbology pane, but remember that colors all look different against different backgrounds, and the best way to fix your color scheme might actually be to change the base map. I have one more change to make. You'll see I have these little black dots representing the streetlights. Now that I have a dark base map, I need to change these to a light color so they can be more visible. Every time you change the colors of one of your map layers, including the base map, it will affect how all of the other layers appear, so you usually need to adjust them too. Now I have a map where I think it's pretty clear which places have a lot of streetlights and which places have few. So if you have a light base map, the convention is that dark equals more and light equals less. If you have a dark base map, it's the opposite. But as always, don't follow this rule blindly. There's always exceptions. And the most important thing is whether or not your audience will understand your math 